to understand how that world functions. And so in this passage, he says, if I talk to you about earthly things, being born, wind, and you're not connecting the dots, how can I talk to you about heavenly things? What does he mean by that? How can I talk to you about the nature of my world that has no earthly parallel? How can I talk to you about the nature of my world that has no earthly peril? There's nothing to compare it to. <clears throat> if I've told you earthly things and you do not believe, you know, um, these illustrations that Jesus gives all through uh, scripture, parables, other things that you and I learn just through life where the Lord will speak to us about so something natural. Um, those are all invitations to increase faith. Here, let's read it again so that you can see it. If I've told you earthly things and you do not believe, so what was his intention of telling them earthly things? It's that they would believe. His intended outcome, as he invited them into this dialogue, into this experience, into this journey, his intended outcome was, come, I want you to step into belief, faith. I want you to come into a greater place of faith. So he invites them, but they miss it. And he says, Man, if you're not getting it, when I'm talking about the simple things, planting corn, harvesting corn, showing mercy, reaping mercy, if you're not making that connection, then I can't talk to you about my world that has no earthly parallel. What's the point? He wants to. He wants to. John 16 is, is, a, is a sobering portion of scripture for me. Jesus actually tells the, the, his disciples and the crowd he's with, I, I forget uh, how many were there, but he tells this group of people, he says, I have so many things to tell you, but you can't bear it now. <laughs> Whenever Jesus speaks, he creates. He, he, let me put it this way. Whenever he speaks, he releases the reality of another world into the atmosphere. We know this is true. In John 6, he said, my words to you are spirit and they are life. Words become presence. So whenever Jesus spoke, words became presence. And so here he says, I have so many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now. You don't have the weight carrying capacity for what I would release over you if, if I told you all that was in my heart. So that tells me, number one, there's a responsibility to be able to host him well, but also to have the character, the, 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 the surrender, the willingness to do whatever he says, to live in that place where you can, you can carry increased measures. I think it's all about this, increased measures of his glory. You say, well, he won't share his glory with another. It's true, but you're not another. We are members of his body. So he's, he's working to build us up in strength and purity and power to walk in this, in this dimension of, of Christ-likeness so that he can impart more. So he, he says, I've got so much to say to you, but you can't bear, bear, bear it now. It would, it would crush you. So here he says, if I told you earthly things, you don't get it. How are you gonna get it when I talk to you? about reality of my world that's within reach, that has no earthly parallel, and yet I've called you to broker it into the earth. 